Oh, look at this. A huge bed of watercress right by Lock 39 on the Trenton Mersey. I think I'll pick some of that. Hello, and welcome to another edition of Galais Gourmet. It's been a while, hasn't it? Well, autumn is upon us, and autumn is a very, very good time for foraging, from fruits to fungi to the watercress that I found by Lock 39 on the uh, on the Trenton Mersey. So, what did I actually do with the uh, the the watercress? Well, because it's autumn and it's getting a bit chilly, one of the options I thought was watercress soup. So, let's have a look at how to make a really tasty watercress soup. Let's have a look at some of the ingredients. We've got the watercress. Now I've added to the watercress with another bag from, from a supermarket because there wasn't really enough for making some soup there. Uh, I've got a brown onion, half a brown onion actually. Uh, because of the amount of watercress, I kind of thought that you don't really need a whole onion. Um, the, the, the sweetness of the onion will really complement the, the sort of pepperiness of the, of the uh, watercress. Um, and you don't really want the onion to overpower that, that lovely flavour. So we've got some butter for frying the uh, onion in, some chicken stock. Personally, I prefer chicken stock with this, but I mean, you can use vegetable stock if you like, if you're a vegetarian, of course. Um, I've got a little bit of uh, sugar. I'm using brown sugar because, quite honestly, that's the only sugar I've got on board. Um, uh, and, and again, that's for, for adding a bit of sweetness to the, to the uh, frying of the onions. Um, I've got some milk, I've got a little bit of cream, and some salt and pepper. Firstly, give the watercress a really, really good wash. I'm going to finally chop this onion. So with a sharp knife, just go through. Don't go, don't cut all the way through to the ends. Just leave a little bit at the end there. Cut a few down that way. And then slice it through. Again, not right to the end. And then you get nice, small, diced onions. <coughs> And there, you can just go down there again. Lovely, that will do. Okay, in we go with the butter, and we'll let that melt down. So the butter's beginning to bubble away, so I'm just going to add the onions, <coughs> pinch of salt, a wee bit of pepper. I'm going to add that sugar. Give it a good stir. Now this will need to cook down for quite some time because you want the onions to, to have a lovely sweetness about them. So leave them for, for at least five minutes on a, on a sort of medium to high heat. So the onions are starting to colour now, so I'm just going to add the chicken stock, which I've melted down in some hot water. That was one cup of chicken stock and about half a cup of milk. Now it's important not to let this boil. Okay, so that's just about at boiling point now, so I'm going to add our watercress. There's no need to chop it, it'll just all kind of wilt down. It really doesn't need very long cooking at all, this. It will keep much more flavour if you just kind of blanch it for a minute or two at the most, really. So I'm just going to whiz it up now. <laughs> Having whizzed it, I'm just going to run it through a, through a strainer. I've just popped it back on the heat just to let it warm through a little bit. Um, you really, again, you really don't want to, to boil this soup. Um, and I'm just going to have a little taste. Pretty good. I'm going to add a little bit more salt and a few grinds of pepper. Well, 
I'm also going to add a couple of small knobs of butter. It should give it a very nice sheen. And just a little bit of cream as well. And there we have a rather delicious watercress soup.